Hey, so we made this video last week about building landing pages in Elementor and we've had some comments from people saying, what happens when you click the button on that landing page? So I thought I'd make a quick video to show you how to make a pop-up box with an email capture form on that landing page. Again, using the Elementor plugin and another plugin called Popbox for Elementor. So come into the WPE studio and let's get this done. Okay, so let's take a look at the landing page we built last week and I'll show you the, the button that we have on it and then we'll dive into WordPress and we'll actually build a pop-up box with an email capture form in that box and we'll connect it to the landing page. So here is the landing page that we built last week and as you can see, um, we have this button on the page and you click the button and nothing happens. So what I want to do is I want this button to kick open a light box pop-up and then in that light box, I want an email capture form so that I can deliver a free white paper or a free download of some sort to my website visitors. And in return, I can start collecting an email subscriber list. Let's uh, dive on over into WordPress and I will explain the only additional plugin that I have installed here is called Popbox for Elementor, and it's totally free. It's available at the WordPress plugin repository. We'll leave a link to it under this video, and it allows you to build your own pop boxes for use on your website that plug nicely into Elementor. So we'll come over to our menu here and choose Add New Pop Box, and I'm going to name this pop box My Magic Pop Box, and I'll stick it on the Elementor canvas and then publish it, and then I'm going to edit the pop box with Elementor. And you'll notice just like editing a page, I have this beautiful, nice blank canvas and all of my elements in the left hand side here and I can literally drag and drop items into my pop box to build out my content. So the first thing I'm going to add is a progress bar. Now we've all seen these in action, those progress bars that tell us that we're almost finished. I'm going to add this progress bar. I'm going to remove the title because I don't want a title at all. And I'm going to hide the percentage and I'm going to change the text to say, almost there. That's a nice visual cue that uh, increases conversions and encourages people to put their email address in. I'm then going to add a heading underneath that. And actually before I do anything, I'm going to change the color of that progress bar to black. Again, we're building a prototype here to avoid any confusion. And my heading is going to say, I'm going to make my heading black and my heading is going to say, um, tell us where to send the white paper. I'll just put a capital T on tell and I'm going to center that heading. So it's a nice descriptive heading that tells the website user exactly where they are and what they're supposed to do. And then underneath that heading, I'm going to add a form. Now with the Elementor Pro add-on, there is a forms element that you can add, a forms widget that you can add to your page. So I'm going to drag that onto the page and then I'm going to remove the message field and just keep the name and email field. I'm also gonna hide the labels on those email fields, the name and email field, just to make it a bit cleaner. And I'm gonna change the placeholder text. The name placeholder text will be enter your name, dot, dot, dot. Again, just a nice descriptive instruction to tell the website visitor exactly what to do. And the same for email, enter your email. Again, this is all designed to increase conversions, capture more email addresses from the website. The send button, let's deal with that. I'm going to change the text and the text is going to say, send me the white paper. Again, just nice congruent messaging with what they've seen on the landing page and what they've seen here on the headline. I'm gonna make that, actually I'm gonna make that a large button and I'm also going to make it black. So under style, I go to button, and then my background color is black, again, to keep it nice and consistent. And the only thing I'm gonna do then is add a privacy notice under that button to tell them that we don't do spam. And I'm gonna use an icon list element here. We're just gonna search for icon. There we go, and I'm just gonna have one item in this list, so I'll delete items number two and three, and then item number one, I'll change the icon to a lock, and I will change the text to say, your email is safe with us, we do not spam. Cool, now I just wanna change that icon to be black. And I'm also gonna just turn that text size down a widget, just a fraction. I'm gonna make that, uh, let's say about 13, I think. 13's good, yep. Okay, beautiful. And I'm going to center it. 
under content, uh, sorry, under style, I make the alignment centered. There we go, beautiful. Now, I'm happy with the content of my, my pop box. I just need to connect this to my landing page so that when they click the button, this pop box appears in a modal pop-up. So we'll show you how to do that now. I'm going to click on the update button to save my changes. Go back to the WordPress dashboard, go to my pages list, and then from the landing page, click on edit with Elementor. Now I need to remove the button that I put there last week, very simply by clicking the X, and I'm going to drag this pop box module from my library of modules here onto the page because I have the pop box plugin installed that appears there now. And the text I'm going to say, uh, download white paper and I'm going to make it a medium size button and again I want to change the style of that I want to make the button black so under button colors I'll make the uh, not the text color I'll make the background color black beautiful and now under content I just simply choose which which pop-up box I want in the modal content and because I've only got one pop-up box there it's only allowing me to choose one which is perfect it's my magic pop box. I'm going to show the close button so they can close the pop up and the close button will be on the right hand side. You'll see all this in a moment. I'm going to click on update to save my changes and then I'm going to preview my page to see it in action. Uh, here is my landing page. I click the download white paper button and voila, here is my pop up. Now there's a few things I want to fix. I want to make it a little bit narrower and I want to put a little bit more padding around the outside to make it a bit easier to read. So back into Elementor, under my uh, style, under my modal container, I can choose the width of the actual container. In this case, I want it to be 550. And under the modal content, I just want to add some padding. So I unlink my padding values and I'm going to add, let's say 20 pixels to the top and bottom and 10 pixels to each side. I think I may have that backwards, but anyway, let's have a look. I'll click on update and go back to my preview page, refresh, and click on the button. All right, perfect. So it's a great width, but I have got the padding wrong. I just wanna change the padding. So very easily change the padding at the top and bottom to 10 and 20 pixels on the side. And that should make my pop-up box look just beautiful. Click on update, my preview page automatically refreshes. I click the button and there it is, my beautiful pop-up box with a nice visual indicator that says almost there. It's a nice visual cue to encourage my website visitor to actually fill in the form. A very clear call to action, tell us where to send the white paper. Enter your name, enter your email, send me the white paper and a nice privacy notice that says your email is safe with us, we do not spam. And uh, all I need to do then is connect that to MailChimp or whatever email service provider my client is using and they can start collecting emails from their website. So, I hope you found this helpful. That is how you can very quickly build a prototype for a pop box and you can put any kind of content you want. You can put video, you can put images, you can put whatever content you can think of in that pop box just by using the pop box for Elementor plugin, which is completely free over at the WordPress plugin repository. It's crazy how much free stuff you can get at the uh, plugin repository. Uh, hey, if you've got any comments about this video, please leave us a comment underneath. Tell us what you'd like to learn next about uh, using WordPress and running a WordPress consulting business. And subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell to get notified so that you uh, know when we put out new videos. We're aiming to put one of these videos out every week and we would love to know what you would like to learn. So I look forward to seeing you again next week here on WP Elevation. Until then, I'm Troy Dean, go Elevate.